Hey y'all, this is Robert from Robert 991 Productions. Right now, this is some Phantom Forces gameplay I recorded, but we're, this video is actually to expose the unfair tactics used by some by players. The reason why I felt felt we need I needed to expose these tactics was because that they were unfair. Now you're also going to see some good Phantom Forces gameplay. You're gonna see some stuff that does happen in this gameplay. I'm recording all the way through this gameplay so that people like you can see what happens. Now, here we are. I, I do make a few mistakes in the. But there are some things that don't do. that, <clears throat> that do happen. The reason, though, that this happens to be, I don't really know. The pe One way that's an unfair tactic to most to players, say you're on a laggy computer, and uh, like me, so you say, like me, I only have a dual core processor on this. And my, I'm in, on the internet, the slower bandwidth. Someone with a gaming PC, they see someone who's just standing there. That's an easy target for them. And that's really just an unfair tactic. Sure, the person may have spawned in, but that person doesn't want their character to die, but they're trying to level up their character. But that other person is also trying to level up his or her character. Which makes it quite un which makes it pretty much unfair to the other player who's trying to level up their character to the care while well, the character who has higher a better F bandwidth has the time to make the shot, the character with the lower bandwidth gets shot before they even can control their character. Or they get shot before they even get in the game. Now this happens, a rule of thumb to remember when playing Phantom Forces, whether it's an opponent or an ally, you want that game to be fair. If that game isn't fair, there's no fun at all. How I don't actually record this gameplay myself. Look at it and see how you'd like to be in my shoes. The reason being, you don't want to be in the person who gets spawn killed. You don't like you don't like to be spawn killed. For most players in Phantom Forces don't speak up for themselves. Now I know I haven't made a video in two years, but there are some things that a person has to do. Now you're going to see in this next section of gameplay where the player, a player literally kills a person before they even get in the, before they even see the game that's happening or the map. That is another underhanded tactic. Spawn killing is underhanded tactics. Now, I was recording all that, and I'm so I'm doing my intro. I did my intro on there, but I'm also saying that if you spawn killing, it's just not the way to do it. It's just not the way to help others. To play, because if you're spawn killing, you're taking the fun of the game away from someone else, and you're giving that game a bad reputation. Because someone you may not know it, but they may be recording the gameplay to play with other people. Sure, this game may be good, but if first impressions are everything. 
even if the if you if a person has seen this game on YouTube and see from a person's point of view where they're getting spawn killed and then they're gonna think wow depending on their computer they're gonna think wow this game allows spawn killing this game but they can't people can't really you can't really enforce it whether it's spawn kill whether you get spawn killed or not you can't I made this video to literally show these unfair tactics. You just say, enough's enough. And I'm sticking up for people who don't have slower computers. Now I was recording all this in Roblox. I compiled this all together. When you see, and this is one of the glitches that happens, but people take advantage of it a lot. It's called a black box. The player in the black box cannot move. The player outside the black box can shoot the player who's in the black box. This means that the game becomes unfair for whomever's in the black box. Sometimes you even spawn into the black box and you get killed instantly. It's just an unfair tactic how it happens. If you spawn into the black box, you're screwed. Unless players start thinking about their tactics and how it affects the amount of players on the game, people may, this game may get a bad reputation. I should know. I've been on Roblox for, throughout my th from middle school on to my high school years. On through my high school years, even after I graduated, I've been working with Roblox and I've been playing the game and helping people build their own places. Although my places aren't popular among in the Roblox community. I'm just cool with that. But, when you see something that happens that's not fair, stick up for the person who is the victim, although you may not know who the victim is. You can report to the moderators though. But, really unfair gameplay on Phantom Forces is not really enforceable. This is why I made this video. To let people know, let the devs know, of Phantom Forces know, who's doing unfair gameplay. And you see here, I spawned back in, I've just spawned in, and I find I've been killed. I spawned back in, and I can't move at all. I get this black box. And then I try respawning multiple times. I can't. And there's some people who have high pings who have actually low pings. on their latency who you just can't get around to work on although I finally I do get killed my player gets killed and I'm a low level player I just uh, I've just unlocked the the Remington 700 or Roblox and then an intervention kills me when I say and I was in the black box at the time that player didn't know it. So you should always assume when the f player first spawns in, if they, until they move, it's unfair to shoot them. Once they move the first time, they're fair game. 
But until they move, it is not fair to shoot them. And I'm talking until they move the first time. It's not even fair to mark them on your map. Because once they mark you mark them on your map, it doesn't even give the player a chance to move or get into a hide. Because the rest of your team immediately knows where that enemy player is who's just spawned in. And it's an easy kill. And that basically is the same thing as cheating. So, you honestly should consider how the other players will see what the other players will see what the player on the other end who just spawned in will see and feel. Because at the time when a player gets spawn killed, they'll be extremely frustrated. Because they've just spawned into the game, and as soon as they load in their graphics, if they're on a laggy computer or internet, they find out their character's been killed, and they just assume, and just like, why do we even try to level up? If people are going to spawn kill, and kill a person, when they just spawn in and before their graphics loads. Sure, for the other people on the other end, their character, the character has loaded in, but hasn't moved yet. But they see it as an advantage that they can take and exploit. In these combat games, some players will take, an avan take advantage and exploit the fact that people who have just spawned in they can't do anything so they shoot the people who have just spawned in allowing their team to gain the upper hand but it's really an underhanded tactic spawn killing is really an underhanded tactic in video games such as Roblox and in the in MMOs like Roblox that have multiple genres of games and where the players create the games and it's a frown upon to and it's also frowned upon myself I frown upon I frown upon spawn killing myself I don't like spawn killers most people don't. So, and the best way to avoid being spawn killed is to and to avoid your teammates getting spawn killed, who have low, who have laggy computers, is to alert your teammates that uh, the other team is spawn killing, and tell them. We should not go into the map. Reason being, the players who are spawn killing, they take advantage of the players who have like computers. So when they take advantage of that, you have no you really have no chance because those players who took advantage of you let's say you're in this I must have got a marked here or something so as soon as I got up onto here I saw it now, granted, this is a fair tactic to mark someone for being shot once after they've moved and they've gotten into a position they want to be. It's also a fair tactic to shoot at them when they're moving when they first move. However, it is not a fair tactic. 
to shoot at people who have just spawned in. And it's not a very light tactic either. People who spawn kill generally if they're playing on the other team against their friends they won't spawn kill because they don't want to lose friends. But when people spawn kill it gets most players angry. What you're seeing right now is the same thing the spawn killings that happened. See that guy popped up twice my screen went blank for a second there. And then I switched back to my sniper rifle. And I get killed by a carbine. An M4. I don't even I'm not sure if the M4 has that range yet. For that many studs. But one thing that this game is about is finding the enemy characters and getting the effort, getting the advantage on your deal. Whether it's team deathmatch, team, or capture the, or like the other one, like. King of the Hill or Flare Domination. It's about gaining the upper hand on your score, but it's also about playing fairly while you gain that upper hand. Because how would you like it if you were the one getting spawn killed? Now granted, you may or may not be the ones getting spawn killed. And if you are, that is even fun because it just sucks all the fun out of playing this game. It's like, why the hell do I even play Phantom Forces? If I can't level up, I can't unlock new equipment. It's just like, how the hell do I play it? And then, you're wondering that. People are going to be fair to you. But really, spawn killing is an underhand tactic. Now you're going to see a few times when players get spawn killed. Like that. This player spawn killed my spawn killed the, me. And I couldn't do anything about it because I had just loaded in. And by the time I loaded in and saw that my surroundings and I could control my character, I was always sh I was already shot. Now here I make the mistake of not throwing the grenade first. I prefer to go up this way, but people can camp that. My player and myself, we can't even see that. And this guy knifes me. There, and those two go back up, waiting for their next victim. And I've got a Skype call coming in. 
Actually, a message. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm typing, and I have a SciTech keyboard. Not sure if it's mechanical or not. That's a PC gamer's keyboard made by SciTech. And I'm not sure if it's a mechanical or not. I think I'm not sure. So what I'm doing is I'm typing on this. Right now, but I'm saying like you're seeing a lot of underhanded tactics. Now, what I'm doing is I'm defending right now. What I'm doing is I'm defending my position. And I waste my ordnance on that and ultimately get killed. That guy gets killed. And he's blocking my line of fire. And that's what gets me killed. But. You can easily find out. What's happening by looking at that. But. Because people. Most people. in Phantom, Some players in Phantom Forces. Will use underhanded tactics. Just. To gain an advantage. If you're one of these, those people, you really are an idiot, in my opinion. I have uh, f five levels of stupidity. The worst and foremost, the most idiotic are hackers. I also do not like hackers. Therefore, I consider them imbeciles. They're the type of person who will screw you over and screw a whole game over and ruin the game experience for every other game. Uh, just under hackers, it's exploiters. And exploiters will take advantage of bugs in the game to ruin your gameplay experience. Now, when you're actually doing some stuff with this, the next one is spawn killers who will just use you as to take people who just spawned in, which we've discussed already. And the last one is the regular player who is not stupid. That this has been Rober 991 under Rober 991 Productions. I am signing off. Thank you.